Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so today we're going to go over how to weld join letters together and or to shapes. This technique can be used to fuse two shapes into one or to join cursive letters together so that they're not cut out individually. You can also use this technique to create ornaments and other fun projects. So let's just get started. So in Inkscape, you're going to want to create your border shape. So for today, we're going to go with a simple circle. We are going to size the outer circle, change that to 9 inches, lock the dimension, copy, paste, change that to 8 inches for the inner circle, select the two, go to align and distribute, and center them together. Now we have our frame. Once you've got your frame set up, Select the items, go to Path, Difference. So basically what this does is it knocks out this hole out of this circle. So this is now one shape. Your next step is you are going to want to put in your words. We'll make a nice little welcome door hanger today. That the font that I have selected is already a cursive or handwritten type font. This should work well enough for what we are doing. Just kind of size it up. Yeah, that looks good. We're going to want to turn the text into a path first in order to fuse it to the frame. So to do this, with our text highlighted, we go to Path, Object to Path. You click it, look down here, Group of 7 Objects in Layer 1. So it has turned this text into a path, and it's grouped it. So what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to ungroup it, and as you can see, if we were to leave the font as is, it would end up cutting each letter out individually. So because we want all of this fused, we are going to tweak the W just a little bit. You can either stretch it like so, or simply move it into place. Resize it just a little bit so that it is attached to the frame and the other letter. You can then highlight your words. You go to Path, Union. We have joined the letters together. Now, if all we wanted were the words, we could say that we were finished. Your word has become welded. When it is being cut, it'll cut along the outlines in a single go. And so this will come out as one piece. Now we want to join this to our frame. With our words highlighted and our frame highlighted, again, we go to Path, Union, and there you have it. <coughs> If you want to flourish, we can now add a little more pizzazz. With spring around the corner, I want to add some flowers to my door hanger. We'll resize this. Let's see. Looks like a good spot. Join. I don't know why it comes in as a group. It's a single item. But then you go path, union. One of the objects is not a path. Cannot perform a Boolean operation. Which object is not a path? Path. 
house. Pass. Check. We'll add another flower. Move this into place. We can resize it a bit. Path union. It is joined. Almost done. I think we could use a little bunnies on here. Let's see. If, yeah, we'll put the hopping bunny. Let's see. We're going to mirror the bunny by selecting the flip button. Bring the bunny over here. ready to cut if you're curious as to what it will kind of look like or you want a clear image for yourself or to show your customer you can always fill your drawing your filled space would be your medium and the white space would be what's cutting out and there you have it I hope you guys enjoyed this lesson if you have any questions, please comment below.